We're back with more DuckTales Remastered. It is now time to begin the great treasure hunt. We have five treasures to find in each of our five levels. In the Amazon, we're going to be going after the Scepter of the Incan King. In Transylvania, our treasure is the Coin of the Lost Realm. In the African Mines, we're hoping to get our hands on the Giant Diamond of the Inner Earth. In the Himalayas, we are seeking the Lost Crown of Genghis Khan. And on the moon, are you really going to be surprised at this one? The treasure is the Green Cheese of Longevity. And as you heard me say at the end of the last part, I'm going to be going from top to bottom. So, we're heading to the Amazon first, so let's pack our bags and head to South America. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan King. And away we go. Ah, <sighs> these saving screens are just the death of me. That is one pissed off bee. Yeah, wise guy, you want to fight about it? Ah, here we are. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> now then, ancient Incan legends nice. claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't launch, bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquak himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. All right, here we go. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice about this game is that the levels are expanded to do some pretty nifty things. For starters, like you saw in Scrooge McDuck's office, the graphics are much, much more improved. And to find your way through the level, you actually need to do additional stuff. Like in this level, you need to find eight coins in order to open a way to the temple itself. Our first coin is actually in this giant treasure box. Did that monkey just jump off the screen and suicide? Ancient coin depicting a nightingale. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. I don't blame you, Scroogey. Not in the least. Yeah, here. Okay, any more gems? Oh, there's one, but that's in a pretty dangerous spot, so I don't think I'm gonna go for that one. After all, it's only a small one. Oh. Well, if I had known about that, I would be $2,000 richer. But I guess for the time being, might as well. Nice. Get my health back. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's head on down. Oh, now this cave looks super sweet. I love the aesthetic and the vines growing everywhere. Oh, so good. A secret passage? Oh, another big treasure box. But something tells me there's more. Yep, just like the original, if you keep going past the secret, you'll find yet another secret. Gems appear all the way down the stairs, and two treasure boxes for the taking. For a big chunk of change. All right, Snake, suck on this. Before we get the big treasure box, let's open these. Nice. All righty. Another coin, and this one has an inscription of an eagle. And that'll be our second. Now to continue our way through this underground passage, because we're bound to find a few more. Never called dull, golf with a dull game again. Yeah. Using your pogo is essential to surviving in this part. Ah, there's number three. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the queen's horse. Ha, it'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDee. 
You know, Scroogey, call me crazy, but wouldn't it be more worth it to collect the coins themselves as opposed to going for the scepter? I mean, I'm sure those coins enough by themselves are actually very valuable. All right. Ooh, nice ice cream. And not a moment too soon, either. Ooh, big gem. Ha. Ah. The more of these I get, the more things I can buy in the gallery. Ah! For money, how about your ass? I mean, you don't like getting stuck with barbs, do you? Okay. Put the rest stop. Drop down. Gotcha! Boom! I guess that boulder was used to get the spider out of the way. Anywho, there's another one, so this should be, I think, number five or six. Where's number four? A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Well, we'll run into her eventually, Scrooge. Oh, yes. We will see Mrs. Beakley. Speaking of Mrs. Beakley, when we do encounter her, she actually does something very nice for us. She gives us a whole stock load of help for our troubles, in case we need it. Bingo! Ah, another coin. Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McDean. What is it, Launchpad? Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, or well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. This time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? Oh, Launchpad, you are the man. Sure, you may be a little on the stupid side, but hey, that's what makes you so lovable. And it's a big reason why you got the part in Darkwing Duck when you did. Yeah, that's right. For those of you who may not know, Launchpad was not only a mainstay in the DuckTales cartoon, but he also was Darkwing Duck's sidekick in the show of the same name. Nice! Another 100,000 for me. Forget being in the black, it's all about the red bit. Oh my god! That bee committed suicide too! And it depicts the ruling might of a spear. This is Launchpad, Mr. McDean. Come in, Mr. Flick. Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. Launchpad, you done fucked up. Alright. So I think we got one more gem to find out here. Oh, one more coin. Ah, got another small diamond out of that one. Go away. You too. Alright. Ah, perfect. Ah, nice, another red gem. Kaching! Man, we were just cleaning house and making a shitload of money. Shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. True, but it's also like I said, Scroogey. The coins themselves would be a big enough treasure. That's just my own humble opinion. Boom! Boom! Alright. Anything else to grab? Surprise you might, but you're not gonna get me. Any more gems to find? Ah, yes. This is doing pretty good. Don't go up there. Yeah, looks like the only place to go up is here. Pissed off bees and a treasure chest. And another red gem that puts us up past $500,000 so far. Not bad if I do say so myself. And this will be our final coin. Ka ching! Aha! 
This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. No, Mr. McDee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? <laughs> well, I don't have all day. <laughs> what was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? Oh, boy. I don't know what's worse. The fact that he was dropped on his head as a child, or the fact that he's admitting it without knowing that it was being uh, insulting. Come in, Launchpad. I found something. There's a carving of Manco Capquack on this stone slab, and there's eight circular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient Incan poker table, Mr. McDee. How about I come down there and you deal me in for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? Launchpad, what if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Manco Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. And just like that, oh, our no. mission is accomplished. It's not working. Well, at least phase one. Maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. <laughs> After a few seconds, the ancient city of Manco Capquack appears. And a giant stone statue of a duck appears, and light shines Will in the eyes. Look at that! The ancient city of Manco Capquack! And that beam of light, it must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee! Alright, so now we're going to take a little flight with Launchpad. Now this is where things can get a little on the hectic side. Uh, Launchpad? Follow Let's go. Beam of light. Okay. Along the way, you can stop and drop for gems, or try and get some to appear. It's really up to you, so... Yoink! Just take a little walk. And if I feel like I'm gonna get into trouble, I'm just gonna bounce on up, and hit your ride with launch pad. Alright. Thanks. Goodbye. I need no buzzing bees getting in my business. Gotcha! Ah, perfect. Big jump. Alright, let's get out of here. Nice. Find another small for my troubles. Nice! Gone down. Alright, I think that's about all I need. Yep. We're going to the temple. Whoa! I did it! I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. All right, so we've arrived at our destination, the temple. So. Let's go on in, and let's start raising some hell. It looks pretty similar to what you would find in the original NES version of the game, with some of the subtle nuances still intact. Oh, you said it, Scrooge. I mean, I can't believe how... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can take swats with a cane. $666,000. I wonder if we can hit a million before we actually get to the boss. We're getting pretty close. I mean, we're at 736,000 now. And things are going to get pretty hairy pretty fast because it's Indiana Jones time. Dun da da dun 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 But we're not out of the woods yet. Hey, something up here. Whatever it was. Oh, what's up here? Treasure. Lots of it, it seems. <laughs> wow, $856,000. Well, 
Well, how about that? Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? I thought you might get hungry, Mr. McDuck, so I baked you a little something. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Bigley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh, of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Well, that was very nice of Mrs. Beagley. I'll definitely take the ice cream. Okay, so some insurance health, a little bit of ice cream, and of course that one up. Now what's down here? I guess we're back on track now. Out of here. Four! You've got piss poor aim, and no coordination at that. Out of here, you piece of trash. Alright, it's so another noticeable thing from the game that is omitted is right here. In the original, this statue would demand $300,000 to gain access to the upper level. But, that's been removed. And a good thing too, because I would rather not spend my hard-earned money on some stupid statue. Another free life, and another red gem. And now we're at $908,000. I think we might actually be able to pull this one off. But things are going to get a lot hairier a lot faster. Whoa! Give me that. I'll take the hit. Ah! Dang it. Just what I needed. Okay. Come on, move, move, move! <sighs> ah, we're still in fairly good shape. Two hits left. Unless we're getting pretty close to the boss. Alright, get down. Nice. Crush him. Yes! I've got a real good feeling about this. Gotcha. These guys are making it too easy on me. Ooh, another biggie. Ugh. Bad timing on my part. One up. $980,000. We're getting real close. 990000 992 Ice cream. Oh, really? So close, because once I walk through here, you know what? Fuck it, it's boss time. Ah, there it is. There it is the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Yeah, you would think so, but unfortunately for you, you gotta sing for your supper, or Catch as Don piece. Summer once sang, work hard for your money. And our first boss is the Ruin Guard. Hit him a few times, and do as much damage as you can. After a few hits, he'll retreat, and bring out some new attacks. You gotta watch out for these. I'm not sure if you get killed if you get crushed, but why take the chance? There's always one open space that will leave you relatively unharmed. Whoa, 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 whoa! That one always catches me off guard, and I do not like it. Drop dead. I said drop dead, you little prick. Gotcha! Alright, round two of the secondaries. Now this time is going to bring the side pillars out. And this one again. Pretty predictable, but... Still dangerous nonetheless. But I'm not doing so hard, I've got one hit left. And I need to really watch my step too, because one wrong move and I'm a roast duck. Gotcha. Gotcha. No! 
How did that hit me? Oh, well, let's try this again. Ah, it's not going so good. There's another hit. All right, there's three hits. Now here come the attacks. Yawn, predictable. Ooh. Almost got too careless there for a second. Here we go again. Bush. Ah, try to fake me out, huh? Gotcha. All right, what do you got this time? attack again. Boring. And a reverse. Double boring. Okay. Are oh, you not letting up this time? I'm trying to pull some threat this time, huh? Gotcha. There's another hit. Time at phase three. And it's quite obvious that every time he takes damage, another piece of the head falls off. I mean, look at him. He's probably faster than the city streets of Winnipeg. Just do me a favor and die with dignity. Whoa! Nice try. Gotcha. Come on, heads in your toast. Suck it! But by destroying the boss, the whole place starts to crumble. And without the scepter in sight, too, so... Looks like we may have come all this way for nothing. This place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Do the smart thing, Scrooge. Live to find another treasure. Get us out of here, Launchpad. Good, Scrooge. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? Coaching From the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McD? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan King! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. All right, mission accomplished. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> Say what now? But yeah, that's it. We've completed the Amazon. Now with a nice chunk of change, too. I can't believe I actually got this close to a million bucks before the boss fight. I can only imagine if I did get to a million before the boss fight. That would have been pretty damn good. So let's see how we did. 21 small gems. 30 big gems and 13 reds. Difficulty modifier 248,000 for a grand total of. Wait for it. $2,502,800 in total. How nice. The scepter of the Incan King. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> you boys need to learn some Even respect they know about it. things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. That's good thought, boys. Make a decision. But I'm going to give you a chance to think long and hard about it, because in the next episode, we're going to take on our next level. So let's pull up the map screen. Scrooge. 
and we have Transylvania, the African Mines, the Himalayas, and the Moon Left. So I think we're going to call it here, and we're going to rest easy after finding that treasure. So until then, this is Jeremy saying, I'll see you next time.